this up fellow developers my name is Tyler Potts and welcome back to the Muddy Wolf channel. In this video or series of videos we're going to be creating a 2D platformer. Yes I know it's been done before but I am planning to add in my own spin to things. I'm going to try and add uh, basically things that you probably haven't seen been done in a uh, tutorial on YouTube for platformers. So I'm going to add loads of different um, elements we're going to have I'm going to show you different ways you could do movements we could do a slide we might do a roll we might even we're also going to add an animation we're going to do a bit of pixel art so we're going to do a bit of everything today's video though is focused on just setting up our project for this platformer so the first thing we're going to do is hit new and from here we'll just 2d and we'll just call this the youtuber platformer so we just hit create and then I will see you once this has done Okay guys, so we've, the scene is just loaded up. As you see, it's called Sample Scene. I'm going to rename this to Prototype. And what we're going to be doing in the Prototype scene is literally setting up any of the game mechanics and stuff like that. So this scene will just be where we test everything. So it's like a test scene. You test everything and then we'll create some levels later down the line. Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Orthographic and I'm actually going to zoom out. So what, I can't see the grid. There it is. So as you can see here, you've got a few grid pixels and I like to stick to the pic uh, the grid. I'm actually going to move this to 9 because then that zooms out quite a lot. And I feel like this gives us enough room to then have to see far, far enough out, see far, far, far away, <laughs> to see to see some distance. I'm then going to select the colour. I'm just going to change from the default for now, maybe just to say like a bit similar darkness, but just say because I hate the default. Scene colour and that is that scene done. So up in the unity or no file and then build settings we now want to make sure we're well i'm going to be building to pc mac and linux you can also build to webgl or anything that uses a keyboard or mouse i'm not going to be doing any touch controls in this video but maybe towards the end we will swap it up and add in some mobile controls so that is that once we're done there we go into the player settings and there's not much we need to do in here please move build settings <laughs> But one thing I will do is rename the company name. We're going to have our own company name. It's going to be called YouTubers, you see. That is, that's an official name um, and very unique. Um, we're going to head over to our physics. Um, and we're going to change our physics 2D from uh, Y minus 9.81 to minus 12. Because I want it to fall a bit faster than it currently does. We might tweak this later on. But for now, we'll see what 12 does. This is just so when we um, when we're running around and we're jumping, um, we fall down faster. We still be able to jump high and stuff like that, um, but one of the things is we'll fall down quicker, which makes it feel a bit more snappy. The controls, which I like, um, and I think that is it for this um, this project stuff. And I think that is it also for this setup tutorial. So in the next video, we're going to be looking at creating some art for our game. These are going to be, just to go over what we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing some very quick and simple tutorials. They'll be quite short and they'll be going over one topic each time. So next one will be doing the art for the game or art for our character and maybe the floor. We'll see what we can fit into a five to ten minute video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Keep muddy and peace out. What's left? Am I